Hey guys, I'm the Terminator. <laughs> like my shades? I was not expecting you to say that. <laughs> so, we got some sad news last week about our um, fish. Pip, Pip. Pip passed away. He, he wasn't acting the same for about a month. He was changing his water regularly. We were feeding him regularly. Mm -hmm. He didn't seem really distressed, but he just didn't seem himself. I think it was something with having the air conditioning on. Like it was too cold. It was a little too cold. So being a tropical fish that, from research, they like 78 degrees. Like it's it's kind of one of those things that, that might have been it. So we're kind of on the market right now. We want to do better by him. We want to get a bigger tank because the tank that we had was, I think, half a gallon. Mm -hmm. People will argue that that's fine for betta fish. And then others are like, no, you want to give them the best possible thing, right? You don't want them to live in like a whiskey jar. So the recommendation is uh, five gallon tanks. We're open for like a three to five gallon tank. I think that's our range. Why not give them the best? We'd like to get something that looks a little more modern that has all that stuff kind of hidden because we could have added it to ours, but might as well get a bigger thing and it allows her to decorate it. Mm. <laughs> make it look nice so we're still going to plan with a beta fish we're going to have a look at some other fish too but uh we'll we'll see what we end up finding so we'll see what we can track down we might end up ordering the tank online but we kind of want to get some information and see what's available i don't think our plan is to go home with the fish today no unless we have it we find a tank that mm -hmm. meets what we want then sure but i think that will be something that she picks up after work one day. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Oh my goodness. You wanna come home? Does it have a heater? Filtration. tank that we want. So we did some damage. How much money you done? That's pretty good for the dollar store. We had to spend twenty dollars to get a five dollar voucher with my American Express, so we did some shopping. No, it's everything. Go on, do this, do this, do this. Thank you. <laughs> 
Thank you. With a day out calls for Food. lunch out. <laughs> so we're splurging and getting A and W. It's it's one of my go tos, I think. As you saw, our research turned into purchase. Yes. <laughs> they had the exact tank that we were looking at online and it was it was very similar. Like it was like ten, twenty dollars difference. And for the fact that we could get it today, we went ahead and got it. Um, and we had some rocks and some some plastic plants that you liked. So it was kind of an it was an okay. And we're selling her old tank. So we're getting some money back. So now. that for the difference it works yeah. out. So yeah. so right now we're just going through drive through. We placed our order. And then we're off to find a fish. Just finishing up lunch and we're heading into Home Depot. We need to find a toilet seat. Yeah, ours is broken like two different places. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, and we want to return some stuff that I got prior to everything locking down. So hopefully they take it. Worst case, they gave us a gift card. And uh, if we get some stuff. Did you know that toilet seats are super expensive? Like, come on, $82 for a toilet seat? That's a little ridiculous. It's better do more than just do a seat. Yeah, like this one has a night, like come on. Like, and it's probably like slow closing and all that jazz. But this one, this one's not. Cadet Aqua Wash. Fancy. So it cleans. It cleans itself. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and it's slow closing. I like the slow closing. Because apparently I slam things all the time. She, she broke it. I did not! that we saw so they were all red they were they were all red and and as much as I wanted to save them all from those tiny containers um, I don't want a red fish so so we're gonna go check out the other pet store and see what they have all right so we're at this almost perfect store and it's a food outlet it's called almost perfect because it's basically a whole bunch of uh, foods that are partially damaged, like the package or the box or whatever else. Um, so it's discounted. So it's perfectly good food that is just a little bit cheaper than usual. Let's go find a fish. Why, thank you, sir. We got one. We got a little fish. We got a little fish. So help us. In the comment section below, let us know what we should name it. Otherwise, she's going to call it Fish 4.0. I call it so fish. Bad, fish. But, yeah. So the pet store just let us know that there's not a guarantee on our new fish. Past after, 48 hours. After 48 hours. So, so uh... We're gonna get the new tank ready tonight and introduce him to his new home tomorrow. I don't know what's all over your shirt. <laughs> Poutine? Okay, close enough. Today we got a fish. 
Uh, we upgraded our tank, so we went from like half of a gallon to five gallons. So our new fish has a large home to swim around in. So this was before we started dating. She had this. Yes. So beta fish, the argument is beta fish can live in anything. Should they? No. It's like any fish, right? They should be happy. So we wanted something with a small surface area. So this one is square, but tall. Yeah, so we, we wanted a small surface area because we want it to be on our desk. So we picked up a heater. The Glowfish 5 gallon that we picked up. The uh, tank. The tank. Um, it has a built-in filtration system. Because beta fish can live up to five years. Yeah. It depends on their environment. It depends on their genes. So this one glows. It says, I glow. And then we have basically a big version. We thought about getting two of these. So our plan for this evening is we're going to, so we're going to make sure we clean everything thoroughly. We're going to clean the rock, sterilize them, and we're going to put the tank together. Oh, baby. Move the box. Oh. There's still something. But there is, there she is. That's nice looking. <sighs> tank like the the edges of the tank are curved so it's like bent glass which is really sharp looking. instead of having normally two panes and then caulking so it's it's almost like seamless you don't see anything mm -hmm. and the black backdrops really nice because normally you would be looking through a fish tank at a wall or they get those like cheesy looking mm -hmm. backgrounds which I hate you'll have a yes. new yes. home soon yes. so He's pretty tiny, so he's gonna have lots to explore when he gets into his new home. We have a little log in there for him to swim through. We, the only mishap that we, it was mostly my fault, is the stones. So normally mm -hmm. a five gallon tank. Is lengthwise. So this on its side normally. So basically we had, we were supposed to have two pounds of rocks for every gallon. So we got two bags, 10 pounds, and it's a little off so I don't know if I misread it or what we have this many rocks left and of course <laughs> me being efficient opened both packages <laughs> so now we have way too many rocks so we'll probably end up selling that on marketplace or something so yeah that was kind of our our busy day we ended up all over the place yeah we ran around a lot we visited my parents um, uh, my dog, my one dog passed away last week, so we're visiting my parents, seeing how they're doing, and my other dog, family dog, Lexi, seeing how she's doing throughout the whole thing and making sure she doesn't get too sad over uh, the loss of her sister. <laughs> this is your first week back? I returned to work last Monday, and it was good getting back. Um, seeing all the kids and getting into the routine of just working in general and learning the new routine of work because we have extra cleaning due to COVID. And next week I get to do the closing shift, so it's a whole new routine to look forward to. <laughs> Wearing masks and face shields 
and screening parents and children before they come into the building. So we're taking all the precautions and making sure the kids have a great time at uh, the childcare while they're there. So With spending so much time, like we moved in at the start of this COVID-19 mm -hmm. at the, when stuff started shutting down in April and we've been stuck together 24 seven since. And it was an interesting journey going from seeing each other every weekend, every other weekend to living with each other 24 seven. <laughs> it was, we had our ups and downs and I can imagine people watching this who probably had some stress because of these times, but it's kind of nice having her back to a routine and I'm slowly getting back into mine. And mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting because she works at 6 a.m. So she rolls out of bed at 4.30, 4.45 and I'm just like <laughs> I'm going back to sleep I roll over <laughs> and she goes off to work so well, I just feel so bad for them right because their lives they kind of sit in this yeah a little right this little container little tub and he's going as you can see compared to that like it's such a bigger so he's going thing. into a mansion mm-hmm well, thanks so much for watching, guys. Leave us a comment in the comment section below. Let us know if you've had any beta fish or you do any fish and stuff like that. We'll see you next week. And we don't know what we're doing. No, so I have no idea. join us in on that adventure. <laughs> thanks, guys. Bye. There's a couple steps to it. So he needs to sit in here for about 20 minutes. So his temperature of water reaches the same as this. And then we'll acclimate it by putting a little bit of water, about a third of the same amount of water that's in there. Wait another 10 minutes and do it again. And then we'll take him out of the bag and put him in the water. The reason you don't want to just dump the water in it is because we don't know what's in the water that he was in. So it could introduce disease and stuff like that that you have in other if you have other fish or anything in that environment. So we just kind of separate them from that and put them in. So I'm going to get a clip. We're going to clip him. He's going to chill there. And uh, in 20 minutes, we will add water. Hey. Perfect. Oh. Yeah. oh, he's fast. We're not going to turn the light on until tomorrow. Or feed him. Yeah, so no food, no light for 24 hours. So this time tomorrow, we'll be able to turn it on and we'll definitely show you guys the end result. Do you have COVID-19? Well, no, because he's not Pete. Pip, do you have COVID-19? <laughs> oh, look at his fin. Oh, the little fin. This it's one's like not... Nemo. This one's not moving. Do you have a broken flipper? Oh, no, there we go. <laughs>